Given that Porsches tend to waltz whatever track battles they compete in, this one was always going to produce a shock result. Except we all know that ultimately there's only ever going to be one winner when a 385 bhp Cayman GT4 squares up to a 495 bhp GT3 RS, especially when they both come fitted with the exact same design of Michelin cut tyres and the GT3 RS weighs only a touch more than the GT4 at a mere 1420 kilograms. So maybe the more relevant questions to ask here are how much faster is the GT3 RS overall and which one is the most enjoyable to set a lap time in? That's what we went to Silverstone's national circuit recently to find out. So welcome to the Porsche Fest at Silverstone's national circuit. Amazingly, it's a December day and amazingly it is not raining. Um, oh, days don't get much better than this, do they? Cayman GT4 versus 911 GT3 RS? <laughs> not really, no, not in my line of business. Anyway, the GT4 and the GT3 RS are, 918 Spider aside, easily Porsche's best cars, best sports cars, most focused sports cars. The GT4 is obviously an awful lot cheaper than the GT3 RS. It's basically half the price of the GT3 RS. So I guess the question is, is the GT3 RS twice the car of the GT4? I really don't know. I mean, the GT4 is a heck of a machine in its own right. Bags and bags of grip. 3.8 litre flat six. Every single box that you want ticked for a fantastic high performance car, the GT4 ticks it. Right then, so let's try a lap in the GT4. <clears throat> it's lovely through there, it really is. down into this tiny little beginning bit of the S's and then on the national circuit you've got to brake really hard to get basically onto the back of the Grand Prix circuit. Lovely traction out of there. Listen to that motor, it just sounds fantastic. Bit of a last of the late breakers coming into the complex. This is always a really tricky corner. Absolutely beautiful. And through here as well. Patient with the throttle. And get on it as hard as you can through woodcut. <laughs> I don't know what the lap time is. Someone's timing me on the pit wall, but it feels properly fast. A lot of road cars just always feel a bit pathetic when you take them to big wide open Grand Prix tracks like Silverstone. Even on the short circuit at Silverstone because the track's so wide and there's just so much space everywhere but this thing still feels really quick even around here. Stops beautifully. Goes really well in a straight line too. What a motor. This is a lovely car, it really is. So in the end, the GT4 posted a time of 1 minute 3.2 seconds, which is a properly quick time for the national circuit at Silverstone in any road car. So how much faster than this could the GT3 RS actually go? I reckon that the GT3 RS will be a, between 3 and 4 seconds quicker around here, given that it's got within a whisker of 500 horsepower whereas the Cayman's only got 385 and it only weighs half a human being more <laughs> and it's got all this aero trickery and it's got the massive carbon brake discs and a seven speed PDK gearbox which okay you may or may not like PDKs but this gearbox can definitely change faster and better than I can with the six speed manual Cayman Wow, the front end on this car feels absolutely glued to the road and it goes 
just exactly where you want it to go with just a little bit of oversteer just when you want it and the way it flies down at any straight I mean I know it's got a set of number plates on it but it feels like a it feels like a racing car this thing Massive traction, massive brakes, massive acceleration, incredible balance. <sighs> My word. <sighs> I don't know what to say. It's absolutely off the dial, this car. I think it's just beaten the Cayman's lap time by about, by a lot more than I thought it was going to. Jeepers creepers. It's outrageous. It's outrageous, this car, but in a really good way. Eventually, the GT3 RS posted a time of 60 seconds dead, which is utterly crazy for a road car on not very warm tyres on a cold December day. But it shows quite clearly that there's still a big gap between a very quick road car like the GT4 and an absolute animal of a supercar, like the GT3 RS. Both times were set with the car's ESP system switched on, by the way. But before we went home, we switched them off, just to see what they'd be like to drive beyond their sky-high limits. Enjoy what comes next, because we certainly did. Cheers for watching. on the video windows to watch a track battle between two classic Nissan GTRs or watch a first drive of the Lamborghini Huracan LP582. Click on the play icon to watch our latest video or on our logo to subscribe to our channel.